Hi. I thought I'd give you a quick sneaky peek of the most gorgeous order that I've had to come in. And it's for a wavy heart with a small wavy heart cut out. I don't know if you can see that very well. And with three little handprints um, imprinted into the heart, cascading down one side. So this is this is one of my favourite pieces to make, and in actual fact, it's one that I wear round my neck permanently. <laughs> so that proves that it's my favourite piece. So I'm just gonna. Get the silver clay out of the packet and I'm just going to um, warm, warm it up just a little bit and knead it gently just to remove any air pockets that there might be present. Can you see the silver? Uh, looks similar to clay. Um, feels similar to the texture of clay. Same colour as clay. So I'm using these guides here. Um, their thickness um, rulers and it's just to make sure that the um, entire pendant is of similar thickness and that happened to me the other day as well this piece um, of clay is not enough <laughs> it's quite a big piece this pendant so I need to incorporate some more clay. <laughs> so again, to fuse the two pieces together, I'm just going to use my roller. Starting from the uh, beginning of October, I'm actually going to be running some workshops and, and I'm calling them fingerprint workshops because the question I get asked more than any is how do you do it? And I, and I have so much interest of, of um, families wanting to know uh, about this silver material and how I imprint um, fingers and things like that. So um, I thought, well, why don't I give you the opportunity to have a go? So, <laughs> so that's what I've done. And um, I've got some excellent locations um, locally to me in Wars Ash. Um, so I've got Hobbycraft in West End. And I've also got Table Manners in Fairham, which is a lovely high tea um, uh, cafe. Um, and also I'm just in discussions with um, another big a retailer about having a having fingerprint workshops there as well so the dates there are some dates already on my website but like I say they're starting on the 1st of October so I'm really excited about that and hopefully uh, you are too <laughs> And you can pretty much uh, make whatever shape, cutter, whatever style of um, fingerprint pendant you like. Um, as long as I've got the cutter, um, you can make <laughs> your pendant. Um, so, and it'll be all of our equipment, all of our tools and the silver. Um, I'll supply everything. So you just need to come along with your your little 
fingerprint model um, are you children and um, I'll show you how to do it and then once you've um, started uh, style and the design I'll take them away and I'll finish them and then I'll bring them back ready for collection the following week so if that does interest you um, please go on to uh, onto my website I asked for a small deposit just um, to um, confirm your secure your place on the workshop and also um, so that I buy the silver for you so there will be various little optional extras if you um, if you want to for example attach your pendant to a necklace I can I can supply you with a, a, a gorgeous snake chain necklace and um, a bracelet key ring so I've just noticed tiny blemish I'm not sure how um, much you can see, but can you see how I've imprinted the three handprints into the clay? I'll cut the shape now. Sorry, it takes quite a bit of concentration <laughs> for me to... Um, for me to get the exact box, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Always seal your clay up. That's what they told me at training. <laughs> never, never let it dry. Or try not to anyway. You can rehydrate silver clay. So, this is our next step. I've cut the, um, using the cutter, the wavy heart shape. So now I'm going to do the inner cut. Sorry for the silence, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so um, it has to be absolutely spot on. So if I show you, before I take it out, um, if you can see, I've made sure that there's enough and equal um, clay around the uh, the inner heart there because if you cut it too thin when the clay high, uh, dehydrates it will just crack so So there we have it. I'm not going to touch it very much more at this stage because it's so delicate at this stage. So I'm going to leave it to dehydrate and then I can um, clean up some of the rough edges um, and give it a, a smooth um, finish. And then it'll be ready for firing. So thank you for watching my very first uh, video.